Hey, everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to break down tonight's MLB slate. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot, just trying to get some winners today. We're trying to get winners every day, and that's why we talk to you each and every Wednesday. Let's begin in Atlanta, where Tommy Malone is on the mound for the Braves, taking on the Marlins. You like this game and the Braves on the money line. Money line for the Braves right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook is minus 132. Marlins and Braves both playing good baseball at the moment, but you like time alone in this outing. How come? I do. Um, obviously, the Marlins have been hot, but I think they might still be playing a little bit over their head. <clears throat> Malone, um, freshly traded from the Orioles. He is a journeyman, but with journey comes experience, and I think tonight that's really going to be big in this game. Um, I think the Braves are going to be super cohesive tonight. I think the bats are going to get behind Malone. They cannot be swept by the Marlins. Things are getting tight in that division. Everybody knows how bad they need to win tonight. So with that narrative, with Malone, that veteran, with the bats rallying behind him, I'll take the money line in the Braves today. I'm going to use that line every time that Jay Happ starts for the Yankees. With journey comes experience. Maybe it'll make me feel better. But nevertheless, Tommy Malone, a journeyman, <laughs> He's going to use that experience with the Braves to take down Miami this evening. Moving on to the San Diego Padres. Zach Davies, you want to talk about journeyman. Zach Davies on the mound for the Pods, taking on Antonio Sensatella and the Colorado Rockies. You like him on the run line tonight. The Padres have been one of your good two teams this season and really even targeting Colorado as well. Run line, of course, minus 105. You can get that for the Padres at plus 102. Padres, a... Um, at minus one, at minus one and a half runs, you like him at plus 102. How come here, Megan? All right, so I obviously, as you said, have loved this Padres team this year, especially when Zach Davies is on the bump. Cy Young candidate, every time he comes on the bump, he seems to lower his ERA. This guy is just nasty. And then you have the Slam Diego Padres offense behind him whose bats can get hot at any moment. But with Davies on the bump, you won't really need the bats tonight because he's going to hold it down. Not to mention, uh, the offense has been just mashing righties, and they've seen Sensatella twice. I think they have his number tonight, and though they don't need to get those bats fired up, they do. Davies hold it down on the mound, and the run line is one of my favorite bets tonight. There you go. One of the favorite bets of the e evening. It's the Slam Diego Padres. The bats, they don't need to get hot, she says. But they will, because that's what they do, even without Eric Hosmer in the lineup. Plus 102 on the run line is the San Diego Padres tonight. All right, one last bet to get to here for Megan, and that is in Oakland, where Jesus Lazardo is on the mound for the Athletics, their young phenom, taking on Luis Garcia and the Houston Astros. And you like that reverse run line tonight, Megan, for the Astros. Plus one and a half, of course. And you're laying the juice. It's minus 130 right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Why are you willing to lay it in this matchup? Okay, so I try to be really selective with this Astros team and try to find good spots for them. And I think tonight is it. So you have Garcia. Every time he comes out of the bullpen, <clears throat> he's looked really good. And obviously, he's uh, fighting for a starting pitching uh, position in the rotation. So that's a big motivating factor tonight. Um, on the flip side, you do have Lizardo, who is great. But this Astros team has faced the rookie once already. So, in my opinion, that gives them the leg up here. Um, so, with Garcia on the mound, with the Astros bats behind, already seeing Lizardo once, and being able to be spotted a run and a half, I like the Astros here in this spot. Garcia getting the start again here for the Astros, trying to cement his spot in the rotation for both the rest of the season. And, of course, next year, Garcia trying to make his mark. Jesus Lazardo, well, he certainly made his. Hopefully, seeing him again will do the Astros well tonight here on that reverse run line. That's going to do it for us here at the FanDuel. Hurry up, Megan. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much, and good luck to everybody else. Absolutely. Tomorrow, Tom Vecchio will join us as we go back into some more DFS conversation in week one of the NFL season. <laughs> for Megan Nunez, I am Greg Salsman. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the games tonight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.